Welcome to the session on Level Up Your Smart Home Integration with Matter. I am Saraj Mudigonda, Solutions Consultant with Nest Partner Engineering at Google. In this session, we'll take you through the end-to-end -end developer journey of building Matter with Google Home, starting from creation of a project to adding your Matter integration, testing your integration with the test suite tools, certifying and launching the integration and monitoring with comprehensive analytics available to you. Our talk will consist of three sections. I'll start with Cloud Plus Matter integrations. Lauren will give you an overview of works with Google Home certification and launch with Google Home Developer Console. Eth will discuss tools for quality improvements and troubleshooting issues. Let's get started. When you develop for Google Home, you are part of one of the largest smart home ecosystems. Our 8,000 brands and over 80,000 devices are enabled to work with Google Home. And Matter boosts these numbers even further. Let's first understand how you can add Matter integrations to existing cloud action. Before, you have only cloud-to-cloud -cloud integrations or you can enhance your cloud integrations with local fulfillment for improved reliability and reduced latency. As of today, you can do the same with Matter, which is widely adopted and compatible with all major ecosystems and works seamlessly with Google Home. Now let us explain how you can do this with Google's comprehensive set of tools for Matter development. You have created and launched your cloud project in Actions on Google Console. Now your devices have a dual stack that supports both cloud and Matter. Let us guide you through the fastest path to build Matter products. In the new Google Home Developer Console, import and add your existing cloud project. If you don't have any prior cloud projects, you can always create a standalone Matter-only project. Google Home Developer Console lets you set up your Matter project with CSA-issued vendor ID and product ID and a tool to automatically verify your vendor ID. As a reminder, Matter was released in October 2022, and many major brands and platforms are supporting the development of this standard. Once you have created your Matter integration, be sure to implement Matter device deduplication to avoid duplication of the same device showing up as a Matter and a cloud device in Home Graph. You just have to add three new additional fields of Matter unique ID, Matter original vendor ID, and Matter original product ID to your sync response. Now your integration is complete and ready to be tested. Use the test suite tool in the Google Home Developer Console to run the development tests during the development phase or run the certification test for certification of your Matter integration. Once you created a version on running the certification test, it's now ready to be shared with your testers. Invite your alpha beta testers and get feedback using the field trial survey template. Now over to Lauren to guide you through the certification and launch process. Thank you, Saraj. Hi, everyone. My name is Lauren. I'm a solution consultant on the Google Home team. The goal of this session is to get you familiar with the process about how to certify and launch your matter integration on Google ecosystem. Let's look into the difference between CSA Matter Certification and work with Google Home Matter Certification. While CSA certify on each version of the device, on Google side, we certify on each version of the device or on project changes. CSA certified testing with Test Lab and Google certified testing with a Google Test Suite. In terms of the testing scope, CSA focuses more on granular 
comprehensive and local-only test case. TestFlow and Google are desired with the perspective of the ecosystem's user. Last but not least, to pass work with Google Home Matter Certification, it is required to pass CSA Matter Certification first. Follow up. Let's dive into what you need to prepare before submitting certification on Google. To submit a matter integration for certification on Google Home Developer Center, you must include the following for certification review. First is a Google test result. You have to test the functionalities of your meta device with Google Test Suite and submit the result. Make sure the hardware and software version used in Test Suite is the same as CSA certified. Second is a company profile review. You have to create a company profile for your meta project. And pass the review. Make sure you use a CSA certified vendor ID in a matter integration, and the company information in a project is correct. The third is a policy review. Make sure your device complies to Google's policy guideline, and your product images are uploaded through the developer center. Once all the prerequisites are ready, you can click the submit button on Developer Center to submit certification review. After you submit on Google, we will have our reviewers to go over all the submitted certification data. As developer, you can check the certification status on the Developer Center, which can be listed as approved. Rejected or in review. For Google certification, only when all the reviews are passed will certification be approved. If any of the review, like test result, company profile, or policy review, has been rejected, this certification submission will be rejected as well. When it's rejected, you can click the View Issues of the Developer Center. For more information on what needs to be corrected, once your matter integration passes the certification, you can launch your matter integration on Google through the Developer Console. Please note that a matter integration can only be launched once it has been certified by Google. Multiple integration versions can be approved for launch. But only one version can be live in production. For the launch schedule, you can choose either to launch the matter integration immediately, or schedule launch within 13 days from the current date. Now you know how to certify and launch your matter integration. In the following session, Eat will show us how to level up your project. With quality initiatives. Thanks, Lauren. In this section, we'll talk about the tools and techniques to level up your smart home projects through quality initiatives. Starting with analytics dashboards, we have split the existing analytics into five dashboards to provide you detailed metrics on all types of smart home integrations. The Google Home Analytics dashboard contains a high level. Holistic view on your project to compare the data from all your integration types. Then the dashboard for camera quality, one that we recently launched, has all the metrics to troubleshoot your camera integrations. And we have the specific integration dashboards that contain a set of metrics common across all integration types, such as the general success rate, latency, error breakdowns. As well as unique ones for each integration, like the JavaScript app versions for local or device commissioning success rates for Matter. Let's start with camera quality, which covers devices ranging from smart doorbells to security cameras. As part of our quality initiative, we recommend WebRTC as the underlying protocol 
when implementing camera streaming for these devices. While slightly harder to implement due to peer-to-peer -peer nature, it brings considerable benefits for the streaming performance. In this direction, uh, we built a sample application with a collab on how to set up a virtual smart camera using WebRTC. You can check out our collab on the subject using the link we provide. Next, a big development for us this year was the introduction of a troubleshooting pipeline for Report State. As a reminder, a Report State is part of our Smart Home APIs, where you deliver the state changes from your devices to Google Home ecosystem. We introduced a set of metrics and logs to monitor Report State performance, which breaks down the results into three categories, accurate, inaccurate, or missing field. Once you get an idea on the metrics for report state, the next step is to troubleshoot the issues using logs. To access these logs from Google Cloud Platform on the side menu, select Logging, then Logs Explorer. Once you identify a sample, you'll notice that it contains fields that helps you to troubleshoot inaccurate or missing report states. You'll kind of see a similar approach to troubleshooting across our entire ecosystem. It's always first monitor the issues through metrics, then do a deep dive using logs. Now that we have the basics down, we can move to our main subject, which is troubleshooting matter. Matter projects are inherently complex as our home hubs and mobile devices work in conjunction with your Matter devices to deliver a seamless experience to end users. There are three main stages that can generate errors for Matter, the device commissioning, handling executions, and delivering updates. To mitigate this, uh, we wrote a new debugging Matter integrations collab, which gives you the steps to troubleshoot your Matter integrations. For device commissioning, uh, we provide metric that tracks the various commissioning stages. Seeing an error generating during any of these steps gives you a starting point for finding what the issue might be. There are also error logs associated with these steps, which give you a slightly more detailed outlook. You can find these by searching client update log in the logs explorer. Next is troubleshooting errors that happen when handling command executions. We provide a list of metrics regarding these, which can give you an idea on the general performance of your whole integration. These include an overall success percentage, detailed distributions per device type and trait, as well as end-to-end -end latencies. You can track these metrics to monitor for any potential issues on your executions. And finally, you'll want to be able to issue over their updates to your devices through Google and monitor the rollout process. You do this by uploading the images and starting the rollout from the developer console. We created a set of metrics that you can track the software and hardware versions of your devices out in the field. So once you release a new update, you can check these numbers to have an idea on the rollout progress. That covers what's new on the Matter side. Throughout this part, we focused on debugging Matter Integrations Collab. Similarly, we have Collabs for cloud and local projects. You can access all of these and more through developers.home.google.com slash collabs. But sometimes the documentation is not enough. So in those cases, where to ask for help? As the Smart Home team at Google, we recommend three channels for you to reach out for help from the community. We created a Smart Home Developer Forum within the Google Nest community about a year ago for you to be able to reach out with any of your development questions. We also have the Google Issue Tracker for you to be able to deliver bugs as well as feature requests on our ecosystem. And finally, we also monitor the Google Smart Home tag on Stack Overflow from time to time. So feel free to send your implementation questions there as well. To learn more, we have our new developer site, 
developers.home.google.com that has the reference documentation around all the ecosystem features. And I want to close out with announcing the developer newsletter we are rolling out this year. This will be a new channel where we communicate the latest developments in our ecosystem, as well as open issues and suggestions for our developers. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Yeet, my colleagues are Lauren and Saraj, and don't forget to check our colleagues Indu and Taylor in What's New in Google Home keynote, also this year at Google I.O. as well. We wish you the best of luck with your smart home development journey. Have a great day.